everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Melissa. So today, I have my Enchanted Fandoms unboxing. So this is September's box and it's corsets and daggers. And I'm super excited about this box. Um, I just cannot wait to get into it. Um, Enchanted Fandom is a company that does all different kind of fandom re related items. Their tagline is no fandom left behind. And they really try to do different fandoms that you don't always hear of and you don't get merch for. Um, they have a monthly box, which is this one. They have a monthly drink and vessel box where you get a drink and vessel and a recipe card. And they have uh, a Netsy shop where they have different cups and stuff that you could buy yourself. So there's so much to Enchanted Phantoms. So uh, definitely check them out. They're... Uh, link down below in the box. I also have a coupon code for you guys So if you want to save yourself a little money off your order, um, you can do that as well. So let's just dive right into this box So if you might notice that there's this huge Bulge right here. She did say that this pop a box was so jam-packed that they could barely get it closed so it's got a lot of stuff in here, so I'm excited to see what's in here. So the first thing on top is the spoiler card, which is beautiful. Um, and this was designed by Kim Carlica. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and I'll refer to the spoiler card as needed. So the um, recipe card is Baker Street Lavender Cookies, a Sherlock Holmes recipe. This actually sounds amazing. I cannot wait to give this a go. I love making these recipes every month, um, So, which I am a little behind on making them, but they're coming. So next is the playing card. They do a playing card each um each box they have done a playing card. Um, and this one is Sherlock Holmes himself. That's really pretty. And I believe Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Cro, something art, um, she does these. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see. So the next thing I'm really excited about, and I'm a little partial, is because this item is actually made by me. I um, I was contacted by Jess and she wanted me to make an exclusive pin hoop for the box. So I made up a Pride and Prejudice themed one. Um, it took me a long time to find the right material that I wanted to use. Um, so I went with this material only because I didn't want something huge and gaudy to take away from any kind of pins you put on this board. I really wanted something simple and elegant and to me this screamed like pride and prejudice i don't know to to me it did i don't know if it does to anybody else but it screams victorian to me and it's very simple so it won't take away from your pins at all so that's kind of why i decided on this material i love it i think it's gorgeous but yeah this is an item i designed for this box and i am so excited that jess included me so yeah thank you jess for including me so moving on to the rest of the box it looks like we get a pair of earrings from Elissa J Designs, and it looks like just like little black beaded earrings. These are really cute. Let's see what they're inspired by. Uh, Penny Dreadful Earrings. I honestly do not know. I've never heard of that before, so I don't know anything about that one, but they're really pretty though. So the next item, oh, these, I got two items there. Okay, so okay, so this is a tea towel, and it says Downtown Abbey on it, and then on the bottom it says what a topsy turvy world we've come to. So I've actually never watched Downtown Abbey. I've heard of it, but never actually watched it. So there's that. That's really nice. I love tea towels. And then it looks like we get another one here. I can get it open. Oh, it so, OK, 
here is the other one. Oh, that's pretty. It's like um, an outline of a lady and it's got like, oh, this is really pretty. It's the gloomy things that needed our help. If everything in the garden is sunny, why meddle? Sybil something. But that's actually really pretty. I like that. And I'm assuming this is downtown, yeah, downtown Abbey. Again, something I have no idea about. Um, so this is the enamel pin and it's gorgeous. Pull it out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love that. So, let me see. This was inspired by The Girl and the Steel Corset. I have not actually read this book, but I may have to look into it now. Or a movie, I don't even know. Oh, this is so cute. So this was by Nightmares and Daydreams, and it's Audrey Rose. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's so cute. And then there's the back of it. And then we get a candle, it looks like. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So this is an Enchanted Phantoms exclusive and it's inspired by Dorian Gray. And it smells so freaking good. I can't even tell you what smell that is. It smells like a little florally, florally, is that even a word? But it smells like um, baby powder almost in a way, I don't know. It smells really good, it smells amazing. So that's the label. I love the little red jar that she used. It's so, super cute. And then we get a fairly large tote bag. There we go. Is this the Outlander item? Yep, Outlander tote bag. Look at that. Jamie and Claire. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. So that was everything in this box. I actually really liked it. Um, so that was everything that was in this box. Um, so I'd have to say my favorite item overall is probably the pin and the candle because this candle smells so divine and I love enamel pins. Um, I do like the tea towels. I think those are gonna be a really useful item in my kitchen. And of course I love Audrey Rose. I don't use magnetic bookmarks that often because I need to throw a bookmark in my book really quick. So, but I love this and I will probably be putting her somewhere. I don't know where yet. Um, so yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite item and uh, what you thought of this box. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.